Hello, and thank you for being here today. My name is Diamond Beverly Porter. I am a professor with the University of Texas at Dallas, and I'm excited to share with y'all today Affirmations 2.0, The Politics of Liberation and Exploration of Healing in Digital Games. So Affirmations 2.0 really explores the affordances of a digital game as a kind of communally situated coping mechanism and critical making technology for Black women and children. So throughout the game, uh, the player encounters intrusive thoughts and reflect on how the main conflict within oneself is often rooted in this kind of internalization of systemic oppression. And in doing so, Affirmation 2.0 complicates the player's knowledge of the self and then works as a kind of flexible artifact that fulfills facilitates critical making and reflection as a kind of self-care. So I first began conceptualizing uh, the first version of Affirmations 1.0 in 2019. So Affirmations 1.0 is based on this kind of personal mechanism of combining imposter syndrome and these kind of negative world outlooks, all based on varying factors. So I decided to kind of create an arcade platformer game that visualizes and once again digitizes my kind of process for combating these thoughts. So I utilize Game Maker to create once again a platformer game with the kind of standard mechanics of a health bar, having multiple lives. We have uh, enemies that you can fight through uh, violent kicks and punches, and of course health uh, potions and fruit and vegetables that you can uh, take to get more health points or gain a life, those types of things. So the really interesting thing about Affirmations 1.0 is that throughout the gameplay you encounter these kind of parallel versions of yourselves and the enemies where you must once again engage in like punches and kicks to kind of physically fight these negative thoughts. So in the kind of pre-production process of Affirmations 2.0, I began to kind of question the kind of self-care protocols and these kind of neoliberal understandings of what self-care is and how they manifest in digital games. So Affirmations 2.0 was uh, created with these kind of three phases of pre-production development and post-production, pretty standard with the kind of game development process. Uh, and within these kind of sections, I broke them down by influences, frameworks, mythologies, game mechanics, and of course, reflections and next steps. So in my work, I always create the things I would have uh, wanted to see. So I start to also educate and advocate for marginalized voices that aren't often represented in mass media. And I do this through utilizing digital games as this kind of communicative medium and digital games in this way kind of functions as this kind of epistemological artifact. So as my work tends to kind of delve into the fields of critical making, black studies, and really just video games as once again that kind of communicative medium, the process for creating this game really centered on visualizing these negative thoughts that are entwined with outside factors such as systemic oppression and kind of create a revisualization of the process of combating negative thoughts. So throughout the development process for creating Affirmations 2.0, I center Black feminist thought and epistemology, often reaching outside the bounds and constraints of academia. I specifically foreground Black experiences and how they're intrinsically tied to us. And this can be seen in the works of Alice Walker and, of course, Toni Morrison. And I also foreground the works of Adrienne Marie Brown, Amanda Phillips, Sasha Constance Chalk, and, of course, Kishana Gray. So the centering of Black and Brown theorists uh, offers theoretical grounds to kind of interweave insights from game studies, studies in aesthetics, disability studies, all throughout through the kind of medium of digital games. So here I really utilize the idea of rest within the context of Black experiences and kind of to critique the game development standards and practices. So I kind of seek to diverge from kind of legitimizing games and creative works by not centering whiteness. So I situate play and the art of developing a game as a kind of intervention to kind of problematize what we come to understand as this kind of legitimate uh, artwork or games, as well as to kind of disrupt the cultural understanding uh, that centers whiteness by creating a game that is culturally inaccessible to whiteness. So play as a technology for intervention in this way interrogates power structures and cultural knowledge and just ways of um, kind of understanding. So within the kind of uh, mechanics, I created Affirmations 2.0 utilizing the Unreal Engine, uh, specifically version 4.23. Um, Unreal uses this kind of visual code structure, and I also use C++ to program the AI and to build the game. Affirmations uh, 2.0 has three levels uh, with hub role access, journal prompts, and also additional scenes. The journal prompt interactions and NPCs 
uh, throughout each level are placed according to the mission objective. And in addition to kind of creating assets and designing the levels for this project, I also utilize Audacity to create sound effects and create the kind of running theme that is shown throughout all three of the levels, as well as the kind of hub world. So then the core mechanics for the game are really the player's uh, dialogue options and a kind of non-lethal combat function. So players will be offered opportunities instead of uh, to enact violence to rehabilitate their kind of perceived enemy through in-game actions and dialogue cues, this kind of lack of annihilating the enemy offers a kind of critique on the kind of traditional and conventional combat options in games and gives the player kind of space in which they can reconcile this kind of perceived enemy. And at the same time, this uh, mechanic kind of once again diverges from this kind of neoliberal approach, this kind of manufactured empathy and orienting uh, towards a kind of external other. So the narrative for the first level is modeled after three elementary schools uh, I went to as a child. So the main objective is just to turn in a tardy slip and really pick up missed homework. However, the player will be prompted to run from negative thought enemies, which will primarily be microaggressions in level one. The player can try to interact with students and teachers, uh, move around to kind of avoid enemies, but the enemies uh, will always find a way to get to the player. After the main objective is met, the player will be sent back to the hub world where a general pump will appear and a reflective period will be advised. The narrative for the second level is set within a kind of suburban neighborhood that includes like a convenience store, a laundromat, rental furniture store, and the main objective for this level is just to buy candy for a barbecue happening later that day, as well as to give a, a classmate homework answers. Like level one, the player will have to complete tasks while avoiding negative thoughts. However, the enemies in level two will include an additional non-playable character that helps a, a player avoid enemies by shouting affirmations, and the goal is to non-violently deal with these kind of negative thoughts. Uh, the negative thoughts in in this level will focus on institutional and kind of environmental factors to mental health. The narrative for level three is a family barbecue, and the objective for the player is really just to check in with their mom and dad, and then also just explore the level. So the uh, player will encounter negative thoughts, but will have more available options. So they can use uh, affirmative non-playable characters and connect with community members um, to feel more present. And the focus here is on the community impact on care and healing. So the focus of the level is just to learn how to live with these negative thoughts and also how to lean on these kind of care network. So Affirmations 2.0 was really a love letter to myself, my Black community, and all the women who have guided and nurtured my growth. So Affirmations as a project really examines the dynamics of structural whiteness and its effect on Black bodies by situating the exploration of healing through community within the kind of larger cultural, political, and historical context. Next, I have a short trailer of Affirmations 2.0. Thank you.